In the 6th century BC, the Greeks arrived in the territory that today we call Catalonia. They were followed by the Romans. These two empires founded cities and spread the basis of Western culture whilst fostering an economy with a high importance on maritime commerce. The Romans brought their language Latin, which would eventually evolve into Catalan. In the 9th century AD, the Catalan counties, or earldoms, depended on the Frankish kings. But this all started to change when Count Wilfred the Hairy created his own noble dynasty, which governed a territory between the Pyrenees and the Mediterranean Sea. Some years later, the Catalan nobles decided to stop paying taxes to France, and in doing so, became fully independent. In 1162, Ramon Berenguer IV, the Count of Barcelona, married Princess Peronea of Aragon. This marriage led to the creation of the Crown of Aragon. Between the 12th and the 15th centuries, the Crown of Aragon expanded its territory through Mallorca, Valencia, Sicily, Sardinia, Naples and even Athens. It swiftly became a powerful military and commercial empire which was administrated from Barcelona as a confederation in which each state had its own regulations. One of the oldest parliaments in the world, the Courts Catalanes, was established in 1283 in Catalonia. It was composed of representatives from the three estates, the military, the church and nobility. This body acted as a deal-making system which prohibited the king from promulgating constitutions or levying general taxes without the authorization of the courts. To administrate the day-to-day -day life between court sessions, a new institution was created in 1359. This body gradually gained political and economical powers. It was what we now know as the Generalitat the government of Catalonia. In 1469, Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand of Aragon married and united their realms in a confederation known as the Hispanic Monarchy with its courts in Madrid. The monarchs had to swear to respect the rules, constitutions and institutions of Castile and those of the several territories forming the Crown of Aragon. In 1640, Catalan peasants rebelled against Philip IV in the War of the Reapers, Guerra del Segadores. The reasons behind this uprising are to be found in a disagreement over taxation and Philip's decision to enlist the peasants to fight alongside and host his army. During the war, the Generalitat established the Catalan Republic, protected by France. It was to be a short-lived situation, though. In 1659, the Treaty of the Pyrenees between France and Spain resulted in Philip IV giving part of the Catalan territories to France. In 1701, a huge international conflict known as the War of the Spanish Succession broke out. Europe was divided in its support for the two pretenders to the Spanish throne. Empires such as Great Britain and the Netherlands defended the Catalans and their preference for the pretender, Archduke Charles III of Austria. But in 1713, following the signing of the Treaty of Utrecht, the Allies withdrew their forces and left Catalonia to fight alone. After 14 months of continuous bombardment, Barcelona finally capitulated on September the 11th, 1714. The repression carried out by the winning pretender and new king Philip V of the House of Bourbon would be fierce. This would turn out to be the end of the Catalan state. Today, Catalans commemorate that defeat every September the 11th, their national day.